Welcome to PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to handle empty text box in PHP. The following three steps are used to handle empty text box in PHP. Step 1. Design the HTML page. Tutorial 6.htm. Step 2. Design the PHP program. Tutorial 6.php. Step 3. PHP provides a special function called empty. This function is used to determine whether the text box contains a value or not. Let's start. First, I start editor like notepad or notepad++. Select the language, HTML. Here, I design the user interface for entering text, HTML. Then, add tag, then title tag, I set the title handling empty text box in PHP. Now I close the title tag. Here I close the head tag. After closing head tag, I start the body tag. In body tag, I start the form tag. And form tag contains three attributes like name. I set the name. Form one. Method. Second attribute is a method which contains two values, either post or get. Here, I set the value post. And last attribute is action. Action attribute contains the name of PHP program, which is tute 6 dot PHP. I will create it later. Into the form tag, I set the caption, enter a value. After this, I create a text box. To create a text box, I will provide an input tag, input name equals to even you can set any name type second attribute is a type I set the type attribute value is text after this I change the line for this I still provide br tag after br tag I need I need a submit button input name equals to S1 type equals to submit and last attribute value value equal to click finally I close the all open tag first one is form second tag is body and last tag is HTML. Now I save my program. Click on File, Save. All the files must be saved into the computer C drive, XAMPP folder, ASTDocs. I set the name Q6.htm and click on Save button. Now I will create Q6.htm php file for this click on file menu new set the language scroll the list and select the php i start the php tag here php in php tag i first declare a variable dollar t1 equals to dollar underscore post and T1. This statement indicates that we are copy the value of T1 into the variable dollar $t1. In the next step, I check the value of T1 whether it contain a value or not. So PHP provide a special function called empty. Empty. I pass the variable name dollar $t1. Empty function check whether the t1 value t1 variable contain a value 
or not if it is empty i display warning message like echo please enter a value semicolon else if it is not empty i print the value of t1 variable echo dollar t1 after this i save my program file save all the files must be saved into the st docs folder my file name is qt6.php click on save button in this program first i copy the value of form in t1 variable into the step 2 i check whether the t1 variable contain a value or not with the help of empty button if t1 does not contain value please enter value message will be display on the screen if t1 is not empty then else part will be execute and the value of t1 variable value will be printed now i close my editor now i start zam control panel after starting zam control panel i open the web browser and this web browser i type http colon slash slash local host slash html program name which is qt6 dot htm here you can see the html interface now i type my name in this text box and click on click button here you can see the message now i click on back button i leave it as blank now i click on click here you can see please enter a value so in this tutorial you have learned how to handle empty text box in ph if you like this video subscribe to my channel share this video on facebook twitter blogger whatsapp if you have any doubt regarding this video kindly contact us on the given email address or mobile number thank you for watching my video